Hello everybody, welcome to hole number 9, a par 5 in the Grand Forest Tournament of the Sequoia Creek. This is also hole number 3 of the Sequoia Creek in tour play, which uh, you can find on tour number 6, the US Champions Tour. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and play them again before we start. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content for free. Last but not least, get the best guides on the market by getting your tour or tournament text guides on patreon.com slash golf clash tommy link directly in the description down below so let's take a look here at this very tough par 5 in terms of making an albatross on we're gonna start by using the driver that do give us the most power one bar of top spin two bars of side spin to the right is what i start with but then you can see the ball guideline we do not want to have the ball to roll into the rough so yeah, I do want to play this right pretty conservative, but keep myself on the right hand side of the fairway. The closer we are to the right hand side, and obviously the further up we are, the easier it's going to be to get the ball to green in two. So two bars of side spin, half a bar of top spin, adjustment is maximum distance plus 20, and then it's time to take our shot. Perfect ball, and we will see the ball here bounce on the fairway and land nicely up here on the top right of the fire. You can see that there is a little slope there in the end, so you need to have that in mind, so uh, you do get the ball to stop. For the second shot, it's big dog time, or let's say like this, you use the wood club that gives you the most power. Here I'm using, in this, this case as well, somewhere between four to six bars of top spin, depending on how close I am after my drive and also what type of ball I'm using. Like if I'm using a power three ball, I will probably use more as I will be further back. If I'm using a power four or power five ball, I will have to use less because I'm gonna be able to be higher up. I'm gonna do a bounce uh, into the rough and then roll out. This is a very difficult shot to get consistently close with. So the th thing that I'm doing is that I'm adding top spin, then I stretch out to see the second bounce to be approximately one third into the rough. And then I adjust from there. I'm looking to get the ball to roll through the rough and in a worst case scenario, be on the fairway just before the green. That's at least a plan to secure the eagle because here I honestly believe that uh, we won't be able to get the albatross in many cases here and I think pushing for the albatross will result in rolling over the green and into the rough and then we will lose the eagle and get a birdie instead. That's at least my thought about hole number 9. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. Make sure you hit thumbs up before you go and also email support at golfclashtommy.com if you do have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Golf Clash game.